saw you. What you saw was my car. Ah! Let's have a look at the facts. James Wilson, dead, but not dead. Half a dozen others, dead, but not dead. <laughs> Sweet Hope is the same. All the inhabitants are feared dead, and then they turn up safe and well. Everybody in Sweet Hope that night, their luck changed. I mean, serious. Midas stuff. We lost everything we had that night. Everything we'd ever worked for. This time, if they catch us out here, they'll probably just pick us off with a cruise missile. If this is a conspiracy, what's it for? Who gains by it? Who suffers? In a year's time, the Sweet Hope survivors could form the most powerful network in the country, and then it'd be too late to ask who suffers. I'm sorry. What are you suggesting? Zombies? Aliens? Why not? Recruiting the vulnerable to your cause. Your friend, Mr. Hallworth, has just lost his home and his livelihood because of you. I've seen the bodies, Gates. Who's are they? What do you think you're doing this for? I saw Wilson die in his car. And then he turns up safe and well, and it's happened before. And all the investigations are managed by you and Ferguson. And then my accident happens, and here you are again. I'm here because some irrelevant half-wit with a death wish went swimming around a site full of live explosives. It's so irrelevant, you just tried to get me killed. No one tried anything of the sort. Your delusions flatter you. Is that what you told Melissa? That she was imagining things, hmm? That she was spooked? Yeah, I'm on to you. You're on to me. But you don't know what I've done. You can see through me. But you don't know who I am. Tell me. Exactly what is it I should be scared of? The truth. Get him out of here. My train fare.
I was thinking I'm going further than that'll take me. Well, how far did you have in mind? This far? Will you let me come in? I really do need to talk to you. Fine. As long as I don't need to listen. Lisa, I don't know who that man is calling himself Gates, but he isn't your husband. I've got proof of that now. How many would you say? Difficult to know. Enough to be the entire sweetheart population. This isn't them. It can't be them. These are the sweetheart villages, Melissa. They all died on the night of the original explosion. Including your husband. No. They can't be dead. They've been changed, some drug, something. You said you no longer knew people you'd known for years. You were right. It wasn't them anymore. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it was something in me. Maybe the doctors were right. Sweet Hope happened five years ago. It could be happening again. Wilson's resurrection proves that. I saw the man die. I wanted my life back, not this. I want my life back. Find out who the people are pretending to be the villagers and you'll get your life back. I found this in the church. There's an engraving on the inside. Does E.M. mean anything to you? I'm sorry. Well, tell me this. Why would an ex-manager of a garage now be undersecretary at trade and industry? Maybe you did an oil change for Margaret Beckett and it just went on from there. The Sweet Hope survivors have got someone in every major government department on the boards of oil companies and the stock exchange, drugs research. Three of them are MPs. If this isn't a conspiracy I'm looking at, what is it? Insomnia? I'm right, Joanna. You know I'm right. They're taking over the country. I've got photographic evidence to prove that they're not who they say they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Taken by you or your sidekick, Mystic Meg. You're doing that thing you used to do. What thing? Counting to ten under your breath when I start to annoy you. No. <laughs> OK. Bring me the photographs. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, you don't get off that easily. Some of that info you gave me is already out of date. Can you have another dig around? See what they've been up to recently? Anything else? The moon on a stick, perhaps? No, thanks. I seem to remember you promised me that once before and it never arrived. DHL, delivery for Mr. Blake? Yeah.
Gotcha. I wondered if you had time to talk. The night Sweet Hope was destroyed. You're certain everyone was saved? You know they were. There were no strangers in the village that night, no soldiers, MOD men, anyone who might not have been so easily accounted for. Why are we going over all this again? Because I'm trying to find out the secret that destroyed our marriage. If I knew why you stopped loving me, why you started to doubt me, I've asked myself those questions a thousand times. This is to do with Steve Blake, isn't it? It's to do with us. It's to do with you. Just tell me what you're hiding. Melissa, but I'm afraid Mother's been confused for some time now. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Was it the accident at Sweet Hope that affected her? Well, it didn't help. But uh, she was mixed up before that. I finally admitted to myself that I couldn't cope. The nursing home she's in is terribly good. I expect she enjoys having visitors, doesn't she? It takes the strain off you. I really don't think it's a good idea. Mary, you know I had a lot of problems after Sweet Hope. Milk? Uh, thank you. No sugar. I did hear you've been troubled. And I remember your mother from when I first moved to the village. She was very kind to me. I would love to say yes, Melissa, but I have to think of Mother first. I'm sure you understand that, don't you? Of course. She's the best MP we've ever had. She's a wonderful woman, isn't she? And success hasn't changed her. So you've known Mary for quite a while. Oh, yes, her mother was a neighbour of mine. I was looking forward to seeing her again. I'm sure she'd be delighted to see you. Do you think so? Hmm. Do you know, I can never remember the most direct route to the nursing home. Do you think I should go back and ask Mary? Oh, no, no, no. She's got a very full afternoon. I should think it's the A140. Then once you're on the Cromer Road, look out for signs for Thornfield Hall. A140. Excellent. Thank you. Recruitment? Through the gates, follow the signs. And welcome to Zentex, friend. Thanks. Right. 